I built an entire SaaS boilerplate with auth dashboard database using just three prompts. No, this isn't clickbait. I used v0.dev, Next.js, and Superbase. And yeah, it works. Login, sign up, protected dashboard, the whole package. I'll show you exactly what I did, how I wrote those prompts, and what you can steal for your own project. Normally, setting up something like this takes hours. Authflow, middleware, role-based access. With v0.dev and Superbase, I shortcut all of that. This isn't a no-code video. This is AI accelerating real code that you control. All right, here's where the magic starts. I only had three prompts on my free v0.dev account, so I had to make every word count. This one prompt, it did almost 70% of the job. I told v0 to build me a complete SaaS website with a landing page, user auth, dashboard, superbase integration, profile management, everything. I even included the credit system logic, like give users five free credits and manage usage in a super base table. And I made sure it's Next.js with app router and TypeScript because if we're building, we're building it right. The key was being super clear and specific, not just make a dashboard, but use super base auth, sign up box, sign in page, secure routes, and a user profile dashboard behind login. Basically, I spoke to V0 like it's a junior dev gave it zero fluff and maximum clarity. While v0.dev is generating the code, we'll set up Superbase. First, sign in to your Superbase account. If you don't have one, create it. It's free. Click New Project and name it something simple. I'll call mine SaaS Boilerplate. Set a strong password. Choose any region. I'm selecting Mumbai. Then click Create Project you'll see the project status here. It takes a few seconds to get ready. Let's switch back to v0.dev and see the progress. You can see v0 has already generated around 15 to 20 files in one shot. That's pretty solid for just one prompt. If I had more prompts, I would have had the whole SAS shipped before my coffee even cooled down. And now, I think v0 has cooled down and done its job. As you can see, it has created some user policies for user management which I'll explain in a bit. However, I noticed that it didn't generate the SQL schema to create the Superbase tables. I will ask it to do that. Just to clarify, Superbase tables are used to store and manage your app's data. They provide a structure for storing things like user information, content, and settings. And Superbase makes it easy to interact with those tables using simple SQL queries. So now we've got our schema.sql, this is what we'll use to create our tables in Superbase. Let's copy the whole thing, head over to Superbase, and from the sidebar, click on SQL Editor, paste the schema in there, and hit Run. If you see the message Success, no rows returned. That means the tables were created successfully. Now jump to the Table Editor, and you'll see the new tables, Users Profile and Credits. The user's profile table is where user data will be managed. And in the credits table, we'll be tracking the user's credit balance. Super useful if you're running a paper use model or anything that needs usage tracking. Now head over to project settings, then go to the data API tab. Here, you'll see your project URL. Copy that. Let's set up the connection between our app and Superbase database. Now jump back to V0, click the little settings icon here, and here we will need to create a project. Once that's created, select it. You'll now see all the project settings. We are going to add our environment variables here. First one, next, public superbase URL. Paste the project URL we just copied and hit save. Next, click on this plus icon. And here we need to add another NV variable, which is next public superbase anon key. Go back to Superbase, copy the Anon key, and come back to V0. Paste the key in and save it. Once that's done, let's go check out the project files. If everything's set up right, your front end should load without any issues. And here you can see the front end loaded correctly. Now we will deploy this project to Versal. So just click on this Deploy button. Now go to Versal dashboard, and you can see our project is available here. 
Now the deployment is finished. Let's access our web app. And here you have a live website with a simple landing page. All required pages like sign in page and sign up page. And here we even have a working doc theme option. So let's try signing up on our web app and see if it works. I'll enter my email address and a strong password, then just hit the create account button. Once the account is created, you'll be redirected to the sign in page. But to log in, we first need to confirm our email verification. Here, we've received the verification email from Superbase. We'll click on it to confirm the email and we'll be redirected to our app. Now notice it's showing a 404 error. That's because the URL it's trying to redirect to is localhost, not our actual app URL. We need to fix this in Superbase. So for that, head over to Superbase, go to authentication, and in the site URL input field, paste your actual app URL. There's one more tweak we can do temporarily to avoid email verification every single time. Go to the sign in, sign up tab, then under the email section in auth providers, just toggle off the email confirmation option. Now you won't need to verify emails during development. Superbase also supports many other auth providers. For example, if you want to set up Google Auth, just enable this toggle, get your client ID and secret from your Google Cloud account and paste them here. You'll just need to tweak the code a bit and you can easily do that using v0.dev. Now let's head over to the table editor and check if the user was created in the user profiles table when we signed up. Yep, our details are saved here. Let me also check the credits table to see if we got the five free credits. Yes, they've been added too. Now let's go back to the sign in page, enter our email and password. And we're in. Successfully logged into the dashboard. Here we have a user profile management page. Here you can upload a profile picture by pasting an image URL. Let me quickly grab one from Google. Okay, I'll paste it into the avatar URL input box. And there we go, it's loaded. Now, notice that the login email can be changed from here. It's locked in. But you can update your full name right here in the input field. Just click on Save Changes and all your updated info gets saved to the database. Let's jump over to Superbase. If we check the user profiles table, you'll see everything we just filled in has been successfully stored. Let's head back to the dashboard page. You'll see a buy more credits button here. Right now, if you click it, you'll get a 404 error because yeah, it's not implemented yet. Next up, we've got a simple little tool we built just to test if the credit system is working properly. I'll just type in some random text here and the tool will spit out some mock results. That'll help us confirm if the credit system is actually working the way it should. At the top, you can see that after using the tool once, our credits have been updated. It's now showing four out of five. Let me quickly show you the same in the Superbase database. If we check the credits table, you'll see it's been refreshed and now shows four credits. Now let's head back to V0 and use that final free credit to add one more feature to the project. I'll ask V0 to generate a responsive sidebar that works smoothly on both desktop and mobile devices. All right, let's hit enter. You can see V0 has started building the sidebar. Once it finishes writing the code, I'll go ahead and deploy the updated project to Versal. That should take around a minute. When it's done, just click the visit site button and here we are back on the home page. Let's sign in using our credentials. Boom, we're in the dashboard and the sidebar is live. You can see the toggle is working smoothly. Let's check out a few other pages. They're working too, but there's a small issue with the layout. The content is getting squeezed towards the left due to a styling mistake, but it can be fixed easily. At the bottom of the sidebar, we have a dropdown with links to the profile page and a logout button. Here is the tool we tried earlier. So let's try using it again and see if the credit system still works. And yep, it's working perfectly. As you can see, the remaining credits have now dropped to three. That's it for now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want more like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.